This is going to be a little bit of craziness. I'm going to empty these two tanks down below. They're both 29 gallon tanks, tall, two foot long, uh, that have fresh water in them and a few fish. Now, I'm using StreamYard to make this video, so I'm not going to be able to shut it off to be able to edit. It's just going to be a straight shot. So all I want to try to get done today is get all of the hardscape out, get the fish out, and maybe start draining the tanks. One of the tanks is going to have all of the substrate removed. The other one is going to have the substrate left in it. We're going to cap that with two inches of sand. The other one that we're going to empty will get substrate from the Gulf. So it's going to have saltwater substrate. But the first one will have freshwater substrate capped with sand. I want to be able to see what the difference is and how these two tanks stabilize and develop using old freshwater substrate or using um, natural substrate from from uh, salt water. All right, so I've got some buckets here. Let's just get started taking all of the rocks and whatnot out. And I think you can see this. Fortunately, I have a chair I can sit here and do this. Filter. Got a lot of driftwood in here. Very few plants in this in these two tanks. They've been kind of low, and I've not had a lot of light on them. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fix that. They will have more light. Now, there's a piece that'll look really good in the salt tank. I don't even know what that is, whether that's real or synthetic. Let's put it aside and we'll figure it out. I keep feeling there's a piece of glass. And I think I really want to use some of the glass. It just looks really, really cool. And we'll put that aside. See what else is floating in here. Plants. Um, let's see. We need to get them in something. Did you see that? <laughs> I got a couple little tanks over on the side there. Well, hello. That's interesting. That's my uh, whatever it's called, coffee coaster. Some more plants. I'm throwing them in the top of uh, uh, 15 that's sitting over on the side. Here's a lucky dead plant. I think I'll do pull the trash can over here so I can. That's a, a um, an potted cheat and that didn't make it part of the filter. A little more plant. There's a big uh, two foot siren an eel like salamander in here. So I keep feeling. I hope he doesn't decide to jump out of the tank. That would be a mess. Now I'm getting snails. It, that one's a lie. These are nearites. They look like, at least they look like they're alive. Let me put them in the tank up top, see if they do anything. I think I had looked at them the other day and determined that they were dead. Here's a piece of java fern I'm up there. Neat little piece of driftwood. I've got so many cool pieces of driftwood. Let's put that up here as well. Look at that. I mean, really. 
Life stuff. So there's something that'll work in here. So a little cave that I put in with the, the buffaloes. Here's another interesting piece of rock that I think I'll hold on to. Big shells that I don't particularly want. Here's a you know, Java temple plant. Trying to make a go of it. Let's see where we can put him. Oh, I know. Put him in with the bettas. Don't have one in there right now. He'll go crazy in there. Get in there. Got him. More Java fern. Empty snail shells. This, um, yeah, it's just a really nice, nice piece of Java. Up there. Now, I think the only fish that is in this tank is, um, a little shelly, which I'm going to have a very hard time catching. Some lava moss, another little tiny piece of wood. I just hope the shelly is not hiding in one of these shells that I'm throwing in the bucket. Because if he is, we ain't going to survive. That's interesting. There's a valve from the old shop. Hmm. Probably the only one I have. Can't really use it for anything. Okay, I've pretty well got it to out of here. Now what I'm going to try to do is uh, some more of these nearites. Those are not alive. I'm going to try to catch the siren and I'm going to put them in here with the African cichlids. And he'll do fine in there. I had him in there before and he was beating up she, the female, was beating up on a couple of males I had in there, and she really wrecked them. But they're not in there now. And we'll see if I can catch her. I just saw a fish. Here's the cell in there. Okay. It's going to be really tricky getting me. I got her. I got her. Whoa. Well, she hit the floor. We're getting the net. There you go. Hitting the net. Just hate can mess around. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Didn't make it. She's on the tail now. Shame you can't see this craziness. She's now made the floor a, a wet, muddy mess. So we can get her in. Okay. Mercy. All right. I need to use the towel to wipe the floor up here. Okay. Lord. 
Now, let's see, we can take the hose out of the bucket. Because I got two more salamanders to get out. So let's go to the next one. Big piece of driftwood with some plants. I'll put the plants up here for now, I guess. This is mostly what? Mostly water sprite. Maybe water wisteria in there with you. Uh oh. We got a fish in there. It's in the plant. And I don't know what he, I have no, no, we don't. It's, uh, it's a buffalo, I think. Or maybe it's not. I don't know what it is. I think I got a fish in there. Oh, well. We'll catch it if it gets in trouble. The puffers up here are very curious about these plants. All right, let's see what we got here. Big piece of rock. Uh, like I said, there are two salamanders in here, big ones that I'm going to take. I'm going to put them in outdoor vats. I can't put them in with the other because she's way too mean. Here's another piece of glass that I'm going to save for this whole thing. Filter. Rooting up hands. Oh my. This is weird. This is a very peculiar rock somebody brought in. I never figured out quite what it was. I'll let you decide. Isn't that the oddest thing you've ever seen? And it's heavy. It's a heavy piece of rock. Can't believe it's a fossil. Can't tell what it is. It might be made out of concrete, handmade. I just have no idea. It's got fingernails. It's bizarre at best. Let's put him up here. Bumping into the salamanders. There's a little, little tiny piece of blue glass. Another little piece of wood. That. A little piece of green glass. This is uh, some plant material, a little piece of wood. Another cool piece of wood. You do have lots of cool driftwood. By the way, if anybody wants driftwood, I, I will sell it. Um, it's like $5 a piece. You get uh, my, my selection. That's interesting. That's a Pot of jeeton that's not rotten and not doing anything. I'm going to put that in there and see what it'll do. A little piece of java fern and something on a rubber band. Let's see. Another handful of shell, a valve, and a piece of Pose. Okay, I'm about down to it here. I don't know what that is. Huh, a Dixie cup lid. 
that was a uh, a Justin. Um, what do you call it? Plant. I don't know what it's called? That's interesting. Yeah, these are Justin makes these. They're they're uh, um, he grows his plants in them and then ships them in them. They're wrapped in a piece of lead, and it all it is is some uh, um, some fibrous material wrapped in a roll around the plant, like so. Wraps it around the plant and then puts a piece of lead weight on it, and it drops in the tank. Pretty cool. That's curious. Snail shell. Uh, there was a time when I got a lot of those for hermit crabs. Okay, I think I got everything out of there, including some plants. So, what I'm going to try to do now is... Um, more screwball stuff catching the cell handers. When I catch them, they're going to go in this blue bucket I got down here. I got a fish, a little red conduct. It's going to go in here with the Africans. Let's muck. It's not doing real well here. Here's another fish. Some other convict. Ooh. Somehow I missed it. I saw him too. I gotta go front to back because my net handle's too long and the net is wider, wider than the tank. I almost have one too. I got one. I got both of them. Cool. In the box. All right. So the next phase is to try to get whatever fixture left in here out. Two convicts. So one over here. Shelly. Shell, shell, shell. Oh, no, you know what it is? It's a little Crevenzis. The golden Crevenzis. There are some of those in here. So, you know, buy no credit. And there's some more of those in here. So maybe I'll catch them. What I'm going to do, I think, next is just get the siphon going. And I'll be able to use the big male. I'll be able to get these fish. Oh my, there's an abundant and abundant eating sprouting. I need to I don't know which one it is. I need to move him into a tank where he can grow out. Let's put him put him over here with the bettas and the um The pygmy sunfish. There. Okay, so the next step now is to um, is to drain the water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on video, 
because it's going to be complicated. I've got to go outside to get the siphon started. So I think we'll let we'll let it go as as, as phase one. Not very dramatic, but interesting and maybe fun. Made a mess. Saw some cool stuff. Step one. Step two will be draining and taking the muck out. Let me just go ahead and do that off camera. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll do it as as phase two. We're done phase one. Phase two will be coming up next. Okay. It's going to be fun. Uh, what, one of the things this is going to involve is a trip to um, a trip to the Longboat Key Bridge where we're going to do some collecting. I've, I've got to get somebody to go with me because it involves quite a lot of walking and lugging. So as soon as I can get somebody, we'll get up there. That's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be a, a, a we'll be able to get pygmy seahorses, be able to get peppermint shrimp, a lot of other invertebrates. It'll be really cool and and we'll populate the the uh, the tanks once I get them set up. So I gotta get them set up with water in them and running before we start getting animals. So that'll be this will be one, two maybe if we do it emptying it. Three will be the new substrate. We'll have to go out and collect that. So we'll do a video with that. That that'll be two or three. And then the, and then after that, we got to fill them with salt water. And I got some ideas about how I want to do that. And then the final step will be going out and collecting and bringing some new stuff in, including seahorses. We're gonna have seahorses. So thanks for plugging in. Keep keep an eye on on us. We're gonna have fun with this. We'll try to get it done. Um, but by the end of the week, this week, at all possible. Bye for now.